Of the 56 signers, 12 of them had their homes ransacked and burned. Nine died from fighting in the war. Five were captured and tortured before being killed. Two lost a son in the war and one lost two sons. Carter Braxton, a wealthy trader, watched as his ships were taken away by the British Navy. He had to sell everything that he had to pay off his debt, and he died in rags. Thomas McKean served on Congress without pay. All of his possessions were eventually taken, and he died in poverty. John Hart had to leave his dying wife's bedside, and he lived in nearby caves and woods for a year. When he returned to his home, his wife was killed, and his 13 children had just vanished. These men stood up at all costs. Where are the patriots willing to give their all today? Are we all sheep to be led silently to the slaughter? I'd rather die than be a slave to thee. Like usual, I see a lot of older faces out here. Their hands raised. Some of you might be thinking, what can I possibly do? I'm too old, you know, I'm I'm 60, I'm 70. Has anybody heard of Samuel Whitmore? Anybody? Well, I got one over here. This is one of my favorite stories I like to tell. Samuel Whitmore. You all know about the Revolutionary War, right? Hello? Revolutionary War, 1775! All right. Uh, on Lexington Green, April 19th, the shots that were heard around the world, the British spanked us. The Minutemen got defeated. Well, we got ours whenever we met them at Concord. We got ours. And when the British were retreating back to Boston, the Redcoats sent reinforcements from Boston. Samuel Whitmore was an 80-year-old man at this time. He saw the reinforcements marching toward uh, Concord. He was out in his field plowing. He went in his house and he got two dueling pistols that he had from the French Revolution. He got a rifle and he grabbed a saber. This 80-year-old man, by himself, marched out to meet this column. He fired on this column, killing several of them and wounding a few more before they were able to actually get to his position. Whenever they got to his position, he fought them in hand-to-hand -hand combat with his saber. They shot him in the face, and they stabbed him 13 times with bayonets and left him for dead. His family came out to get him. They had taken a door off one of their, uh, their house to come put his body on and go bury him. When they found him, not only was this man not dead, he was attempting to reload his rifle and engage the Redcoats as they were marching away. Samuel Whitmore lived another 18 years and died at the age of 98 of natural causes. He never gave up and he never surrendered. And because of patriots like him, we stand here today in this great country that we call the United States of America. As you leave here today, don't rush to forget all that you've heard. Don't think only about the fireworks bursting in the sky. Remember the great patriots that formed this country with their spilled blood and their families destroyed. Find the American patriot within inside yourself and let's restore this republic!